We've been with Erie six months now, and uh, it's been a whirlwind tour of getting to know the members and visiting chapters and getting to know my colleagues in the other IR societies. Um, so for me, it's been very much a familiarization tour, uh, a learning, listening uh, to the issues that, that members are facing, uh, and also uh, learning about NERI, uh, delving into its operations, its management, understanding its programs. Uh, you know, NERI is a very complex, large organization, and it takes a while to uh, fully uh, unwrap, uh, unwrap that all and uh, unpack it all, as they say. Uh, but I've uh, been, been busy learning, and uh, on the sort of the bigger side of things, I uh, spent a lot of time on Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. I've been on the Hill uh, uh, three or four times now. Uh, we just uh, uh, had uh, an extensive meeting with the Securities and Exchange Commission. So coming up to speed on the public policy issues and learning uh, the players, uh, reconnecting with many of the members of Congress. Uh, I had worked with many of them in my previous job uh, when I represented the private uh, private equity industry, um, and so but now I'm in a different role uh, serving the public equity industry. Uh, different issues, but the same, same members of Congress in many ways. I had the uh, opportunity to meet uh, several of uh, the, my colleague CEOs of the other IR societies at the NERI uh, annual conference uh, this past June. And then in August, uh, we had a meeting of uh, the five largest IR societies in Toronto and uh, spent a day and a half together. And that was very instructive to hear from uh, my fellow IR Society CEOs the issues that they're facing, their, their members are facing, and how they're responding to those needs and also the opportunity to discuss uh, where we might be able to address some of those needs uh, now and, in, and into the future. Um, so it's been, uh, it's been a, a good part of my learning to better understand them. I'm delighted to be here at the uh, World IR uh, Global uh, Forum uh, uh, to meet more of them and meet uh, uh, the IR leaders from around the world. You know, uh, we, are, we are part of a community and sometimes uh, you know, we think of that community as local uh, but it is also global, and um, it's been uh, it's been eye-opening to me to um, understand the issues that we we face not only in the United States uh, but around the world. Well, Neri is. Uh, uh, membership today is about 50% male and 50% female, uh, and uh, many of many of our leaders at the chapter and national level are, are women. Women are very very well represented in in the organization and, and in the profession, and I think that's in part due to Neri's outreach uh, over the last 30 years. Uh, uh, Neri has uh, focused on uh, women in IR as a programmatic uh, need. Um, and has going back literally a generation ago uh, began programming about uh, uh, women in IR uh, you know what are the issues that uh, they face how can we be more supportive and welcoming for women um, and uh, you know we'll continue to do that uh, many of our chapters uh, program uh, on that on that topic um, just as we, we program on uh, so many other topics but uh, women in IR will continue to uh, be a focus uh, on, uh, for as long as uh, there are disparities and differences uh, between the genders in terms of uh, pay equity and opportunity. You know, one of the really interesting things when you come to a new organization, and, and this is my fourth association as CEO, is uh, understanding the real dynamics, uh, what members are facing, how they're challenged. Um, you know, here at the uh, IR Global Forum, we just had a, a, a wonderful presentation on MIFID II. And uh, you know, while it, that is a European regulation, it will clearly affect uh, all IR professionals uh, as that uh, is rolled out into the, the global cell side firms. Um, so that's a very good example of how the world is changing. Uh, we are seeing uh, IR uh, issues evolve and change. We're seeing the knowledge needed and responsibilities performed of IR professionals change as well. Uh, for example, uh, today 20% of NERI's 3,300 members have some sort of, some kind of uh, buyer sell side experience. That's a dramatic change from the traditional uh, roles uh, focused on communications and public relations. Um, and so you know, that's an example of how the profession is evolving uh, and the, the issues that they're dealing with from 
active investment to passive investment to uh, ESG and uh, uh, CEO pay ratios and all those other issues of compliance and regulation are continuing to challenge the IR function and we think that that is uh, one of the things that is going to drive the need for the expansion of IR uh, teams uh, in companies around the world. Uh, MIFID 2 in and of itself is going to be a, uh, uh, an eye-opening change that will put more pressure, more stress, more demands on the IR teams uh, and uh, I think as a result you're going to see uh, IR, uh, the IR function uh, receive more resources uh, because they're going to have to step into the gap uh, being created by the emergence of MIFID 2.